own your truth. Hmm. And what do you mean by that? Harmonizing your thoughts, feelings, and actions. Hmm, I like that. Uh, so your greatest power is in your discovery and understanding of self. That's right. Finding Happy Podcast will help you understand how your thoughts affect your life. Thoughts become feelings, and our feelings create a halo around us. Finding Happy Podcast will help you cultivate favorable outcomes and avoid harboring negative energies. Wow, I like that. Thoughts become feelings, uh, which then become habits that we practice. Finding Happy Podcast will help or give the listener an insight into how what they do is a reflection of their subconscious mind. And it will help you understand how to program your mind to attract what you want consciously. You deserve to thrive in this life. Find your happy. Finding, Finding Happy, happy Podcast. Thank you for joining us for Finding Happy Podcast. Last season, we had a great time. We talked to persons like Marsha J, international recording artist, Eston Swaby, business coach, Akilem Hamilton, humanitarian and, and advocate, Kisha Palmer, teacher for over 17 years, Garfield Burford, renowned journalist, Bishop Jarrett, and Bishop Jarrett, um, well, as the name suggests, he's a bishop for, of, a, of a ministry. Um, religious ministry. Then we had Ruth Lawrence, who was an empowerment and youth leader. We had Veneta Van Horn, which is a who is a philanthropist and entrepreneur. We also had Peta Gail Oates Blake, and she's a positive psychology practitioner. We also had um, featured um, the album launch. Um, from Marsha J, international gospel artist, and we spoke with her and her producer, Carl Marit. We also spoke with family relationship coach and professor, Dr. Tanisha Burke, who she goes by the name uh, Dr. T. And then we had a conversation with Shad Keneller, author of Finding Happy, and he was so fantastic. He has given us a copy of his book. And as soon as I, got a, I get a chance to go through it, we're going to be talking about it on the podcast. So last season was phenomenal. And now we're on to a new season. Season, And last year, I was going by the name Saturn Browning. But this year, I'm going to be going by my coach title. So I'm Coach Raquel. And I'm going to be joined by a fantastic person that I met who loves um, empowerment the way I do. And he's going to be joining me as my co-host for the podcast. His name is Keith the Entrepreneur. Um, so it's Keith Marit, but he goes by the title Keith the Entrepreneur. He is really um, doing a great job as an entrepreneur. He has his own enterprise where he has different projects that he's a part of and he's very successful. He comes with a wealth of knowledge. And so he's going to be sharing the microphone with me. <laughs> For the rest of the period that we'll be doing this, and of course, we continue with number with um, we're continuing with season two. We're going to be talking about relationships, and of course, he before we get into the heart of our topics today, we're going to be talking with Keith, just learn a little about him, and get him all situated in the show. <laughs> and then we're going to get into the conversation. All right, so stay tuned, and thank you so much. For joining me and thank you for the success of last season show we have I have Keith here on here with me because I got so many messages asking me for the male perspective where is the man's voice so now we have a man's voice okay so are you ready Keith yes I am <laughs> welcome to the program by the way I think what, what I would love to ask you before I go I begin is why Keith the entrepreneur how did you come up with that name oh okay okay um <laughs> Well, the name, it, it's, uh, it represents my, my journey. Um, I would say about 20 years ago, I was introduced to an opportunity, you know, being fresh out the block, so to speak, you know. So now I'm walking in, into this meeting, and um, it looks great. People making money, and 
their testimonials here. I'm like, wow, this is this is great. So you know, I I took the leap, leap of faith. I put my money where my mouth was at, and so I got on board and I you know tried to make it happen. Of course, I failed measurably, but I learned some important um, lessons um, about how it works and and what it entails. See, prior to this meeting, I was pretty much an introverted person uh, in some ways. Um, not not very, I was a pretty shy. Um, and I learned to be more personable. You know, I learned to be more business-like. You know, I dress differently. I try to speak differently, more, you know, a little more um, uh, assertive and more conviction in my voice. Mm-hmm. Uh, I became a salesman, you know, which is not known as a good name, but I think I was at that time. Yeah. The, the thing is that yeah. I learned also learn um, rejection and know, learn how to deal with rejection and no's. Mm-hmm. And I also learned that your no's can eventually become yeses. So um, it, it was always in me to not think just nine to five. You know, I've, I've worked nine to five, eight to four, 11 to eight, 12 to whatever it is. And I've, I've always felt that it wasn't for me. And so I said, there must be some other way, you know? So it had, it had been a great journey for me. So that name, it kind of encapsulates, you know, all that I do, whether it's writing or singing or playing or- Multi-talented. You know, multi-talented yeah. And, and I kind of hone that in now and hopefully the world can see all that and benefit from it. Yeah. I'm not he, you, so you, you are, you're a songwriter, you're, you're in education, you're an educator, right? Right. Yeah. You're a saxophonist, number one on Gig Masters. Mm-hmm. You are, you sing as well. A little something, something. <laughs> something, something. And you do music as well. and vocal arrangements. What yes. Else? You said something? I'm working on my first book right now. And you're an author and a poet. Uh, yeah. Well, there's yeah. Something, something there too. I remember one day we were talking and you just started speaking in poetry. I do that. You're the only other person I've met that does that too. Okay. Like I'll be talking and it starts rhyming and I'm like, no, that's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's just right. Yeah. Yeah, so that's refreshing. Yes, yeah. I, I'm not yeah. a, a quick example. This podcast, this yeah. podcast, will it last? Yes, it will. Why would it last? It we here, we speak, and the words are life. Yeah, and, like, and we have water. chemistry. I think we have good work chemistry. Yeah, <laughs> we hear people talk about their work husbands. <laughs> uh, I think we have good. Important. Yeah, I chemistry think we have good work important. chemistry. There yeah. You go. Yeah, and I like it because I think I love your energy. I love your energy. So we have joined Marsha J's Esther Challenge, where we're going to be discussing the themes and the topics and the issues, some of the issues that um, came across in the book of Esther from the Bible. And we Ooh, have, so we like have Marsha like J here, and we know that Marsha J is the international recording gospel artist signed to Style Records, who just dropped her first album favor and um <laughs> yes so yes. she's going to tell us about the esther challenge everything you need to know how you can get on board how it will help you and empower you and here we I go. love it i love it yes. the esther challenge was born out of my own experiences of mind body and spirit wellness and so esther challenge really and truly is about that Especially when you are a public figure or you are extremely busy, whether you're an entrepreneur or a school teacher, many times we do not find the time to care for ourselves. Our self care is important. I, for one, am extremely guilty of not taking care of myself. Me <laughs> too. Oh, have, me three. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes, and the repercussions have been terrible, and I think. You know, it's about time that I put a cap on that. But instead of doing the challenge by myself, I have now thrown it out to the virtual community. And so this is actually an Instagram challenge. Ah, nice. An Instagram challenge. 
and um, I'm, I'm thinking about that I should go Facebook with it as well but I haven't quite decided mm. <laughs> so it's mind wellness body fitness and spiritual empowerment and of course we know the story we are acquainted for those of us who are with the story of Esther where she's coming from and how she was exalted to queen and um, all the, the road to getting there from this Jewish girl uh, that is in the community and transitioning, especially the uncommon favor that reaches her based on the background of the story. When the king chooses a wife, he would only choose wives from seven critical kingdoms because of the political affiliation behind it. And here is this girl, kind of like what just happened recently with our royal family, was not expected, it's not the norm. And here she is, you know, being... Um, translated from a regular to a queen and she was and actually so, replacing Vash, queen vashti the first right, queen. Right. vashti oh. denied her husband in chapter one we we spoke about chapter one early in our conversation so, okay okay yeah. okay yeah so um all of us have a destiny that's what the Esther challenge is about all of us have a destiny and we all need to prepare because when preparation meets opportunity that is where we get success right uh -huh. and, has to be holistic because the Bible does declare that your your gift will make room for you. But what do you do when you go into the room? It means that you have a, you would have had to have some sort of preparation before you actually get into the room. And so for the next six months, uh, leading up to my album launch, which is temporarily well tentatively stated for Friday, June 14th, we'll be just going through a number of things. Um, should be pretty exciting. I'm excited. I don't know what anybody else. I'm excited oh. too because I joined the challenge. Yes. <laughs> Thank you well. so much for joining. Thank you so much. Well, well, I, I, well, I, Go ahead. I'll Go ahead. be the fan. I'll be the, the Amen the Amen fan in the corner saying, Do y'all go ahead? Do y'all <laughs> Yes. You know, men have reached out to me about it. Um about it. I say, is this sound like it's a girl thing? Mm. We are like a, a King Xerxes challenge or something. Ah, I like that. <laughs> you know, so um I don't know, maybe, but I would maybe. prefer a male to spearhead that challenge because they okay. are more um, Maybe you could have an Arise King challenge. Yes, yes. Um, I'm still working on that ebook. It's it's coming, it's coming. Nice. All right, all right. Very nice. I would like to become a mom. So that's why I'm doing it, to get myself ready to become a mom, if that's possible at all. What yes. are some of the reasons that, for the women who have joined on with you, what are some of the, the primary reasons for doing it? Well, there are so many. And what are their causes? But I'll start with, with, um, with myself. Yes. Um, I had a very traumatic experience some time ago, years ago, and it, it was over a period of time. And I have had to sit down and really evaluate what was the cause, the, the root, really, really root cause of all of that. And one of that was I was not prepared in mentally and physically for some parts of life that will hit how to deal with stress and, um, and, and just a lot of things. But for the, the other persons that have joined the challenge, and if they are listening, I want to say big up to persons in Canada, Clarendon, St. Oh, Anne, nice. uh -oh. Kingston, Manchester. Wow. But the reasons are Savannah Lamar. <laughs> Savannah Lamar. <laughs> but the reasons are, yeah, the reasons are varied. I have moms, I have single persons in wow. the challenge. Wow. I have married persons in the challenge, engaged persons to be married. And mm -hmm persons who even want their entire women's group fellowship to be a part of it as an activity. Wow. That is awesome. That is fantastic. Congratulations, Marsha Thank you. Thank you. You've started everybody, a movement. Yeah. Everybody just wants to grow and be the best version of themselves and to be authentic. And it's not that we don't want to be authentic. It's, it's just that we weren't really taught how to put all of that out there. Yeah, because mm. yeah, when we were kids, all of our expressions and our emotions were just out there. And then as we grow mm. older, we're told, you can't do this, you can only do this at this time. Time and place. Mm -hmm. You know, and somewhere along the line, we seem to have lost our, ourselves because we're trying mm. to be more. You know, but I think it's about time that we get back to really being ourselves so that we can 
shed what needs to be shed and just keep moving on to the awesome future that we have awaiting us. Awesome. So tell us, um, you have body, mind, spirit? Yes. Okay. Tell us what each, um, each chapter or what do you call it? Each segment encapsulate. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So mind wellness pretty much has to do with our thought life and how we operate uh, within our feelings and emotions. And I'm so happy to be partnering with Finding Happy. Yes, because we're all about thoughts, feelings, and yeah. actions and how exactly. everything comes straight from the mind. Exactly. I have had a couple of times in my own life where I felt like I was going insane. And I was. Oh, I felt that way yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Even as a faith based person, sometimes life gets much. And we have a lot of things going on in our heads. Yes. And some of us, we react and respond differently. Sometimes we pull in, mm-hmm. sometimes we're extroverted about it. We throw things and throw a tantrum. Some of us mm-hmm. pray about it. But I do believe that there are many ways to handle stress and tension. And we can always share information to see what's the best way to have right. a healthy mind. Because, right. Because, mm. because we do a lot of coping, but we don't do a lot of treatment of the mental issues that we face. Because, for example, yesterday I melted. When I said I had a meltdown, I had a mental meltdown. Mental meltdown. Literally. And I spoke with a therapist who said to me, why are you mentally bullying yourself? <laughs> She's like, I, I am. And she's like, yes, like you have to allow your mind and your body to go with the flow and to do what it needs to do and not bully it into doing what you think it should be doing. So I think Mm. what happens is a lot of, we do a lot of coping, but not a lot of treatment of the issues that we're facing, would you say? Because we don't know how, and that's all that it is. We just don't know how. Um, Mm -hmm. For us as faith-based persons, there is the concept that you're supposed to be nice all the time, and you're supposed to be happy all the time. And good all the time. And and good all the time. Um, But there are times when we do get angry. What do we do when we're in that space and we feel? Do we do like Jesus and turn over everything in the temple? Or, you know, what do we do? With that, <laughs> yeah. And how do we not um, be of We handle it in a healthy way. Yeah, handle it in a healthy way and mm. not hurt somebody in our path. Yeah. You mm. know. Wow. On the other side of it, when we see persons going through something that mm-hmm. has mind struggles, how do we treat them? Do we treat them with love and respect and say, you know what? I, I get it. I'm gonna give you some space to handle this, or I have a suggestion for you to, or do we take offense immediately? Right? Mm-hmm. Just right. says quick to hear and slow to speak. So we need to be taking our time and analyzing what could possibly cause this person to be this way and how can I help? Especially if we're mature enough to realize it's not necessarily you. You work at the bank, people come and they cuss you out all the time. We're too slow and this and the system is this. It's not you personally as the teller or the senior. Just the system. And so you have to be friendly and you have to know how to do that. So, you know, mind wellness is about how to handle all of these things that are- In a healthy way. In a healthy way. Mm -hmm. And body, Mm -hmm. I I suspect when I hear body, I'm thinking weight loss. Yes, body fitness. It doesn't have to be weight loss. I had one particular young lady that joined the challenge. She's like, but I don't want to lose weight. I said, that is, that's great. You can mm-hmm. maintain, and that's okay. Mm-hmm. You know, just <laughs> what you're doing. You know, uh, for me personally, I know I have issues um, where my weight is concerned uh, based on hormone issues, and I am an emotional eater. I'm at the point now where I'm just like, putting it out all out there. If I'm having a very rough day, I smack a lot and things like that. So I have to first admit what's going on in order for us to fix that, right? Mm. So um, I do realize that your mind has a lot to do with your body wellness because depression and all those things (coughs) will cause different hormones and different chemicals in our body to respond negatively. And so we gain weight. We, as women, we grow here in various areas that are not supposed to be happening. And our voices tend to get deeper because of certain hormones that rise and fall and all of these things. But we don't know that, we're not aware. We don't know that being happy, the Bible says that um, happiness is medicine. Mm. Happy, that's the basic happiness is medicine most of us are very yeah. unhappy 
because we don't understand what it is to be grateful. And when you're thankful for your body, it's not that I don't like being plump. I'm a fluffy girl and I like my That's fluff. Right. There you I go. The fact <laughs> it's affecting how my body works. I'm having mm -hmm. short of breath. You know, I have so many other things that are happening. My, 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 my iron is low and that causes other things. You know, so we have to address that while we are loving ourselves in the process. All right, you know, while, while you, you know, while, while you, while you're talking there, there is a reality that many women, I mean, people in general, but women in this, in this particular case, um, the thirties, forties, sometimes fifties start having a lot of hormonal changes. Yes. And sometimes they don't understand what's going on. They're not crazy. And sometimes if they get medical assessment to see what might be lacking, whether it's iron or zinc, hormonal you know, health balance, it can help them to actually be better, more effective human beings, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. Because some people, they get angry. Why am I angry all the time? Mm -hmm. exactly. You know, and, and so sometimes it's misunderstood, it's misconstrued. And sometimes people come at them hard when if they really knew what was going on in their bodies, the foods sometimes can affect all that. So oh, yes. what you're saying is very, very important. Very important. What and you're and as this morning you were sharing with me, Keith, um, when you only get six hours of sleep for a period? Um, can I, say, I actually heard um, uh, they did some kind of uh, um, study for two weeks. If you sleep for six hours, it's like you sleeping, like you staying awake for two days without, without sleep. Wow. That's incredible. And so sometimes yeah. our bodies are responding in ways that we don't understand. And we, we, we're not even able to say, oh, it's because I haven't gotten enough sleep for two weeks. Uh, oh, it's because yes. I haven't eaten the right food for two weeks. For some people, in some cases, not just in Jamaica, anywhere you live, sometimes there is yeah. also the budget to support the diet. Thank you. Yes. Because there's so many things that, so many expenses coming at you, coming at you. How do you mm -hmm. manage your resources and ensure while ensuring that your health is, is number one? Because I don't think yeah. we, we, we put our health as number one. I think we put the bills as number one first. True. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And that is just, that just doesn't make sense when you're really mm -hmm. thinking about it. And then you have the spiritual, right? And I like that because I, I like that it's not, you, you didn't say religious. I like that it's spirituality you're focusing on. Tell us a little about that. Yeah, well, just before I, I go there, Michelle yes. Obama, I have a quote on the, the Instagram page. And if persons want to join the challenge, it's mm -hmm. min or minister min J 2019. Michelle Obama says, we need to do a better job of putting ourselves higher on our to-do list. Mm. Mm. That is so true. That is so, yeah. I'm telling you, that is so, tr I don't even know if we really understand how important that statement is and, and if we can really practice it. Um, I'm doing that now um, because of things that happened and I'm like, you know what? You lose it anyway. These things that you work so hard for, you lose yes. it anyway. You either lose mm -hmm. it in life or you lose it when you die. Yeah. Yes. So you know, you know, you know, guys. As as 2019 rolled over, mm -hmm. that's one of the things that I actually said to myself that I'm going to change some things. Yeah. That I, that I have not been doing over the years, and I'm not taking a vacation in years. Wow. I said, I said, this is crazy. It is. So I, <laughs> so I, I make it a a point of duty that I will be taking a vacation in April, going to Jamaica. Yay. What's up? Talk to me. Yes. Cut me out, cut me out, baby. All right. Yes. So I'm not waiting. I'm nice. gonna enjoy some stuff. Oh my and, gosh. And that's, and, and that's just the beginning. That's so lovely. I like where I, so I like where Marsha is going yeah. with, with this height. I, I just love it. Go ahead, Marsha. I love it. <laughs> and so for the body challenge, we'll be teaming up with the RI28. So for persons who want to know more about the body aspect of it, they can log on to www.marshajnow.com and then they'll go on the brands and then you go down to Kingdom Fitness and then you will see your plan for that. But along with that, I'll be having nutritionists come in and talk to us about our basic Jamaican menu and how we can use it. Because it's not about and it being fancy too much and an and and expensive lifestyle. It's eating the everyday things that will help us, the kalalu and the cabbage and the carrot and how much of what for the day and so on. Um, so that we can be good stewards. We yeah. can be good stewards. Empty bag can't stand up. And dare I say an unhealthy bag. 
is of no use either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that you say that. Yeah. And, and, and guys, you know what to add to Marsha real quick? Um, you know, a lot of times you find a place like YouTube is a wealth of knowledge. Yeah. And oh, yeah. I've gone there and gotten some good insight. Like, what are some of the simplest way to eat or the most inexpensive way to eat healthy? You can get ideas or yes. you can, you can check, you can, you can check in. And, and people, for those who may not be able to afford the expensive things, if the food that you eat is not so great, don't eat too much of it. You know what I'm right. saying? If it, is, if, it is, if it is, if it is, yeah, at least be smart about not consuming too much. Right. So yes. that's a start. I make yeah. too much of one thing, but for nothing. For nothing. Good for right. nothing. Mm. <laughs> so the link is, is marshajnow.com slash kingdom dash fitness. Yes. And they can so go on the 28 day challenge. 28 day challenge, and you don't need to join a gym. Oh, okay. Gym. okay. And when you look Tell at us the what does it think? You, what's the cost? What's the cost? The cost is forty something dollars. I don't have it with me right okay, now. Okay. And what do you what is are the there cost additional cost. costs to the fort after you pay the forty whatever it is? Let's say whatever the, the the cost is after you pay that cost, are there other things you'll need to buy? No, no, that's, that's it. it. Just need maybe your exercise mat and your gears and you're good to go. If you choose to buy mm -hmm. supplements and so on, um, there are supplements on my site as well that you may purchase if you so desire to. Mm -hmm. But pretty much, okay. um, that's it. And to a regular gym... Is there a diet? Is there a diet? Like there a diet? It's the same thing. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, it's mm -hmm. more. It's more expensive. Yeah, it's and, more. And, and, and with this, it sounds like... It's, I, I like it because I like to do it in my home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gotcha. At my own uh -huh. pleasure. Time yeah. of day mm. and any device, so whether you have your phone, yeah. tablet, oh, nice. on the go okay. in a hotel room, you oh. just need half mm. now. So you don't have to worry about taxi fares and additional costs. No. And this is how yeah. sometimes you can limit the cost that it takes for you to do something like that. Do you have to have special diet when you're doing it? Do they put you on the there are there is a diet sheet that is attached to it, so it doesn't matter how you would eat generally. So if you're vegan, um just, just semi-vegan, just a regular diet, a very strict diet. Uh, if you are diabetic or anything like that, they they have meal plans that will conform to your lifestyle. Wow, okay. interesting. But it costs you an extra. What, it's just that when you when I guess when you're going to, I would suggest when you're going to begin, and you're going to go to the supermarket, just um. Well, for me personally, I tied it around my supermarket shopping so yeah. that for that time when I'm going to the store, I'm buying the things that you need. would allow me to, to go according to the guide. So it's not costing me extra. Right. Gotcha, it's gotcha. Not like, so, so for me, one of the things I did was, um, not no, but I've done it before, is where instead of buying rice, I buy vegetables. Instead of buying okay. carbs, I buy, because I actually love vegetables <laughs> and then i have anemia so right. you know gotcha. Gotcha. so it's not more money it's costing you it's just that you're buying you're, you're purchasing differently yes. you're shifting your your, your yes. focus for that time. Mm -hmm. yeah and i always advise persons who want to be a part of the Esther challenge see your doctor too a lot of us are afraid mm -hmm. to go to the doctor because the doctor will help to guide you just last week there was a 19 year old who was um adopted by somebody else in her family and her mother forgot to tell the person that was adopting her that she's anemic and mm -hmm. she had an everything mm -hmm. before that she died so it's important oh. for us even though we want to go on a diet we need to be conscious of what is already existing in our bodies yes please yes mm -hmm. so fully benefit um from the program itself yeah because that's important especially when you have anemia that that fainting spell is very real very real. <laughs> yeah very, it, it happens to me so i know and yeah. like your skin sometimes go real pale and you know so like like for me i study my skin to know how i'm doing yes because i know when the patches come what that means <laughs> yeah. okay. i might have no iron and things like that so and that's just for me personally this is just how i practice my own body, your body knowing yeah I didn't yeah. even realize that I had a wart starting to go somewhere. I was like, when in the world did that happen? Because we don't mm -hmm. need time. Wow. We, shower, we just jump, 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 and jump up. We don't inspect, like we inspect babies when we're giving them a bath. Yeah. When we get older, we just take a shower and step out the shower. We're gone. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do. I <laughs> yeah, we need to pay attention. I, I really do pay attention. <laughs> Yes, our bodies speak to us. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. yes, it does. It does actually. It it does speak to us. 
Oh, yeah. I, I guess because of my anemia, I have to pay attention to my, especially my skin color and stuff like that. Got you. Got you. Yeah. Fantastic. I with anemia as well. Wow. But it's one, once I get up and my body just feels weird, I'm like, yeah. oh, something's going on. I don't know what, but something's going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially the staggering feeling, you know, you're low on iron kind of thing. Wow. True. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that sounds good. What about the spiritual aspect of it? What, what is the... What, what, what is the objective of that? All right, so the spiritual empowerment is just to have a sense of you are not alone and God is with you and how to maximize on your relationship with God. Wow. Not religion, but relationship. Mm. And so in my devotional, R to R, we'll see on the YouTube official Marshall Day. Um, we'll be going through the book of Esther if you have not yet started. For those who have started, we have not yet gone in to dissect. Mm -hmm. um, the book of Esther as it relates to the challenge itself. But it's a pretty cool story, um, I would think. Mm -hmm. I would like to. And um, we're just going to explore that and dive into it, maybe get a few perspectives from ministers and so on, and see how does the story of Esther, you know, wrap itself around what we're doing mm. and so on. So it's not just um, spiritual in terms of the spiritual aspect, but as you go through the story, you will see colors, you will see decor, you will see you're just looking at various things. Some of us, our rooms are untidy. Mm -hmm. We don't have the right colors in our room, and so it throws us off. There's something called color therapy. When they look at um, when the place was being dressed for the last mm -hmm. King Xerxes, and he asked for certain colors and certain metals and certain things, you know, they all have a part to play. But we'll go more into that. So it's getting to know, All right now. getting to know yourself, getting to understand um, your your own happiness and how to center yourself. What inspires you? What motivates you? What gives you energy? What takes away your energy? Things like that. It sounds fantastic. It sounds amazing. We well, we actually started reading, yes, sir, and we're at chapter one and we discussed it. <laughs> And, um, oh yes we have earlier in the program and um where we talk about well for me what popped up for me was um a queen publicly denying her husband and the potential impact of something like that because in her case she denied him and then he, he denied her he, he divorced her <laughs> so so it's important to I guess it's important when you're in relationships to understand um, the, the, the governing principles of those relationships, what, what the, the, the outcomes could be, what, what, um, what are the deal breakers and, and, and things like that, right? Because I, I remember Keith brought up the whole issue of the power of choice right, and the fact that Queen um, Vashti was also demonstrating her power of choice when she said no. <laughs> you know, that was her choice. Um, but sometimes there are consequences to your choice. So you have choices, but there are consequences sometimes to those choices, right? Yes, and sometimes you, you, this may be out of context in terms of the That's story, right. but yeah. based on my research, I realized that in those days when the king caused to parade in front of he was actually asking you to strip and dance naked for his guests, which um, it, within that context, I would say that Vashti, I don't know if I were Vashti, if I would have not, I would have probably denied the king as well, because he was drunk. And, um, and he, has he been was party drunk for seven, day, seven days. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The party went on longer, but at that time, yes, the seven yeah. day one. And, and, um, and she was also working with the women. Right. Right. She had so, a small party with her girls. For me, this is just my personal opinion. It's choice, isn't it? It is choice. And, and, and sometimes our choices are influenced by whatever the potential outcome or consequences should be. So sometimes we fail to say no and say yes when we should say no because we don't want to lose something whether we don't want to lose a man or we don't want to lose a position or we don't want to lose our crown or we don't want to lose material, um, access to material things. It, it comes down to choice, right? And sometimes we have to, and hopefully this throughout this challenge, what I would, I, I hope that our persons, we can get from it is um, 
understanding that sometimes we should be willing to lose it all to choose ourselves because that's what you're saying isn't it putting ourselves at the top of that list so it's me first if this choice if I make this decision now, is it, will I become disenfranchised as a result or will I become empowered as a result? And so that's where we should make decisions from. So I'm not saying it's easy in any way, right? It's not necessarily easy, especially when you love somebody. But are you going to love somebody more than you love yourself? And if you love someone more than you love yourself, then the real problem is not you loving the person. The real problem is you not loving yourself more and keith could you tell us from a man's perspective what are your thoughts on women doing this challenge i mean i think it's uh it's quite empowering i, I just hearing how what marsh is saying I'm, I'm curious to know how did this come about i mean mm -hmm. just beside your experience was it um a dream or did it have some kind of a, a you know a, a experience in church a message what really prompted because it sounds in fact, it sounds well-rounded too, not the same yes, idea, but you really have so much, so much element to it, so many different yeah. dimensions. I mean, you're saying groups, you're saying old people, young people, you're saying married yeah. couples. I'm like, wow, this is really yeah. cool. Absolutely. So, so, I mean, I think that, um, I think anything that we, we do that can, I, I would say, take a holistic approach, it always best because I think God said he came to make us whole. When those, when those 10 lepers left you know and and only one came back and gave thanks and and he was made whole you know there was something about this being one dimensional and having the entire thing system you know working together your spiritual with your physical you know because a, a lot of people complain about one area of their life but the reason why because the other area is not taken care of you can't be jumping shouting all day long in church you eating all kind of junk every day all week, of the week you know it doesn't coincide with, with our temple or, or you, you can go any other way with this, but I, I like what I'm hearing and I think it's going to be impactful and I'm looking forward to hearing some good things from it, from Marsha, really, it sounds really, really, really cool. Awesome. Thank really you so cool. much. Like I said, like I said, I'll, I'll be in the aiming corner, I'll be, I'll be rooting <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I love when the king supports. I really appreciate your words and I'll bear those in mind. And actually, we have men even chiming in on certain days because I do run like sneak previews, previews in my WhatsApp. And okay. I mean, they, they send poems and they say, you know, I know you girls doing the Esther Challenge. Read this one. And <laughs> nice. like okay, and okay. Supporting the women. That's very nice. All right. Yeah. And yeah. we're going to be discussing it every single week on our program, every chapter. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Thank you so much for including. <laughs> Absolutely. We're happy to, happy to join you with it. So was there anything outside of your experience that influenced it? As Keith was asking, was there, a, did you have a vision? Did you have a dream? It, or it was just your... I just became sick and tired of being sick and tired. Wow. <laughs> Pretty much. Wow. That's, yeah. that's, it wasn't an epiphany or any greatness. On my Instagram page, I posted one of the days where I was in the hospital and I was stringed up and, and all of that. And I was like, I never want to be here again. But I was mm. not just in that place physically, but, but mentally sick, you know, at some point spiritually, because I was confused as to, you know, what God was saying in this season and things like that. You know, it's just, it, all of us may have had that very dark place that we have gone to and we just don't want mm -hmm. to go there again. Well, Amen. I know Amen. that. I know that. And, and, and just as my final question, is there any dating um, opportunities or ideas around this challenge? I mean, Esther was doing all she was doing for the king. So is, is there a search for the king <laughs> for this challenge? Uh, I don't know if that's a personal question I want for the challenge. But well, both. <laughs> I hope it's first. I hope that's the case for personal. <laughs> I, you know, I love there, there are no deliberate plans. It's just a matter of preparation. Well, when we love ourselves, mm -hmm. we are trying. But it's something to consider. Yeah, I hope you right? do. Because we're, yeah. ending, we're also <laughs> ending the challenge with, a, with hopefully with our cruise, where we can yes. kind of get together and celebrate. So some days we'll be in the spa, there's an the album launch, there's a cruise. So you'll have fun along the way. So it's not just brain work, brain work, brain work, but the practical part of it and the having fun. So, you know, 
you never know what God will do. It's and and I think I think it's very important that um, mm -hmm. persons, women, we women, because I'm single too, think yeah. about that aspect of our lives because I think it's far more important than sometimes we think it is. And um, I have been on eHarmony for a while, and I'm telling you, it was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever went on. I am so thankful for the person who propelled me to do it, literally pushed me to do it, right? Against my own wishes, thank God bless him, right? Because had I not done that, I'm telling you, it is very, love is important, self-love is important, but you need, having the love of, of a partner, is also critical and shouldn't be overlooked. And I think sometimes yeah. as independent women, we overlook it. Like I was ready to just be alone by myself and be good with mm. that. But why should I? I deserve to be loved. I deserve to be made love to. I deserve sex. I deserve kids. I deserve, and, and I think we need to get to the place where we are bold about claiming that too, because that is a part of our health and well being, I think, because yeah. God didn't just create sex for no reason. I'm just saying. Mm. That's yeah. right. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I, I agree with you 100%. I mean, I, the, the reality is that, the, the reality is that, um, like I said, you know, putting ourselves first um, and wanting to put ourselves first is, is how can I be the best me for you? Yeah. It's not just me being self-absorbent and ha having pride, but for me to affect anything mm -hmm. most effectively, I need to be the best me. Exactly. So, because so, you're, mm -hmm. you're so correct. Because for me, like, like when I have no one to show myself off to, I don't even want to shave, shave my legs. What am I shaving it for? I don't know if anybody else has that experience, but I do. I have, right? I love to do it, but after doing it and doing it, for what? Who are, who's going to have the great reveal? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, to what end? Mm -hmm. That's just me person saying. So I'm just saying, I yeah. think women of God need to experience love, experience being in love, experience being loved and cared for and chivalry and being courted and being dated and being married. And I, I, just, I just think it should be a critical part in it. Not, not a critical part in that you need to go find somebody, but love yourself to attract somebody. Mm. Yeah. That's and true. Develop in the confidence to, to, to when it, for when it comes, you're ready for it. And the church has a responsibility, and it is biblical. Mm, I think so, too. As we have the word of God stating that the older women should really teach the younger ones. I yeah, think. too many single women are in the church. Yeah. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but I just think there are too many single good no, girls who are not finishing at all. But that's maybe mm -hmm. from another episode. There but we go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there, there are stuff and then there are persons who come in who have history and damage and, and mm -hmm. need and all of that, all of all of that. receive the, the wholeness yeah. that God really designed life to be yeah. so mm -hmm. you are absolutely right and I agree with you there we go so thank you so much for being on the program. Keith, do you have anything else to say? it's always good to be it's always good to, to um, share um, you know, I've always imagined these days long ago in my mind and like with anything, if you believe it, if you can see it in your mind's eye, mm -hmm. given enough time, it's going to happen. So awesome. here we are sharing with some amazing women of God. Hey, what can I say? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. <laughs> awesome. 30 seconds, Marsha. Any final words? Links? I just where should want they to go? encourage our listeners. Listen, you don't want to miss this challenge. You want to be a part of this challenge. It's absolutely free. It's all about you and being the best version of yourself and being authentic. I wouldn't want you to miss it. So jump on board. All right. So you can connect with me on Facebook and on Instagram. Uh, for Facebook, it's official Marsha J. And for Instagram, let me pull up that one because I have two Instagram pages. There's a music page mm -hmm. and then there's the one for the Esther challenge. Mm -hmm. So the one for the Esther challenge is min.marshaj2019. J. So that's, that's M I N. Min is M I N. Yes, for Min okay. It's Min dot Marsha J twenty nineteen. And the website is www.marshajnow.com. Fantastic. Thank you so much for being on our program. It was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you guys. Absolutely. <laughs> excellent, excellent. What impacted me was the whole matter of wives denying their husbands. It, it okay. was it was like uh, I saw the gravity. Mm -hmm of a woman's choice, ah. the gravity.
because um, you think about those days, kings were highly regarded. They were really right. You know, powerful men, renowned people. So, you know, whoever they chose as queen, they also were very valuable. They were also very important. They were like a prize, right. you know, for, for the world to see around them. So to have her in this setting, Bruce's ego, you know, kind of disrespected his authority, um, it was a slap in the face, right. you know, one level. Um, but it shows that sometimes a woman's emotion can even change laws, man. A lot of things change yeah. because now women everywhere, True. young and old, you know, would not know how to suffer because of her decision. Yeah, to, to say to, no. Isn't that, it, you know, I never even saw that until you said it. The power of saying no. From that, yeah. from in those times, what, she, what Vashti demonstrated was that you can say no. You have the right to a choice and you can use that right. Yes. Yes. That's, I, never, I never even thought about it that way. Thank you for joining us today on Finding Happy Podcast. I am Coach Raquel. And I'm Keith, the entrepreneur. Own your truth. Hmm. And what do you mean by that? Harmonizing your thoughts, feelings, and actions. Hmm, I like that. Uh, so your greatest power is in your discovery and understanding of self. That's right. Finding Happy Podcast will help you understand how your thoughts affect your life. Thoughts become feelings, and our feelings create a halo around us. Finding Happy Podcast will help you cultivate favorable outcomes and avoid harboring negative energies. Wow, I like that. Thoughts become feelings, uh, which then become habits that we practice. Finding Happy Podcast will help or give the listener an insight into how what they do is a reflection of their subconscious minds and it will help you understand how to program your mind to attract what you want consciously you deserve to thrive in this life find your happy finding, finding happy, happy podcast Thoughts affect your life. Thoughts become feelings, and our feelings create a halo around us. Finding Happy Podcast will help you cultivate favorable outcomes and avoid harboring negative energies. Wow, I like that. Thoughts become feelings, uh, which then become habits that we practice. Finding Happy Podcast will help or give the listener an insight into how what they do is a reflection of their subconscious minds and it will help you understand how to program your mind to attract what you want consciously you deserve to thrive in this life find your happy finding, finding happy, happy podcast